Hello and thanks for your interest today in our tutorial video. Welcome to Central Ohio Heaters. The title of our video today is Burner Runs 30 Seconds to 7 Minutes but Will Not Refire Until After It Sets for an Additional 15 Minutes. A few safety precautions here. If you use this video, you are agreeing to use it at your own risk. Be sure to let the unit cool down and clean the ice out of the unit especially when the unit's soaked with oil and antifreeze because it can burn uncontrollably. Do not stick your head near the peep door until the flame is established because if the heater is hot and the chamber gets filled with oil fumes and then the hot fumes light it will explode in your face. Kerpoom! Also be sure to wear safety goggles. You could have an, a plugged oil filter that makes it hard to get the oil up to the pump and the burner because it's plugged up, in which case it will pull a deep vacuum. It's setting on zero right now, but once it starts, a plugged up filter will pull down to a deep vacuum of 10 or 20 inches of vacuum or more. That's because it's plugged up. You will just simply need to take the oil filter apart, four bolts here, take the bottom off, clean the screen out inside there that's a cleanable filter this is a spin-on filter you can just replace that one it just spins on the bottom here this also has a vacuum gauge if it pulls a deep vacuum same thing this uh, sucks oil out of the tank filters it pumps it up to the burner there's a way to measure it over here you can open the bleeder here and make sure it continually pumps. You can measure that with a 12 ounce aluminum Coca-Cola can. There's different specifications in our book. Bottom line, the oil filter gets plugged up and the burner doesn't run. Next, let the unit sit for 15 minutes. The vacuum gauge should be on zero to two inches of vacuum. Then fire it up and watch it for the first 10 to 15 minutes. As soon as it starts, it should have a full flame. Does the flame gradually get sparkly, lazy, dimmer, smaller and smaller, and then suddenly the flame walks away from the retention head and it's gone? If so, the oil preheater in the block is probably cooling down too much and the oil is too cold to burn. If you let it warm up for 15 minutes, it will burn nicely again for a while, and then it will repeat the cycle. Let's fire this up and you can see it burn. Okay, the flame's established. You can watch the burn. Yeah, the flame continually burns. Burns most of the way across the chamber. Nice clean flame. That's what you're looking for. Just continue to watch it for 15 minutes. It should stay burning continually. If it gets dimmer and smaller and weaker and lazy and sparkly and a lot of sparkles come out of the flame and the flame gets smaller. The oil preheater could be cooling down. Okay, we're going to shut the oil off to the flame here. See how the flame gets smaller and smaller, and then the burner shuts off. That's because of not enough oil flow. This here, Shenandoah, has a, a big 300 watt heater right here. It screws in with a 716 socket. It's about 10 inches long, it has two wires on it. If the wires get burned off up here, where the wires hook on there, they get, they get burned off right here. That's probably because this preheater is shorted out, dead short. If you take the heater out, you'll probably find that there's a, a bite taken out of the heater. It got burned out. Or just simply a dead short. This in here doesn't have any wires on. If the wires are burned off, it's probably a dead short. In which case, you will also need to replace the temperature switch. It's the upper switch in here. 
two switches, the upper and a lower. It's the upper switch that runs the big heater. This is what a new heater element looks like. 300 watt air heater. That's what you need to replace in a Shenandoah. Call us and we can get you what you need. Next, let it set for 15 minutes. It'll probably fire up and run nice again for about 30 seconds to 7 minutes. That's because your oil is either plugged up or your uh, air heater's probably out of that Shenandoah. Let's go to the uh, Lanier here now. Lanier has two preheaters, one in the upper block up in here and one in the lower block. There's one in the lower blocks much larger. It's 400 watt instead of 130. This 400 watt preheater block, preheater element goes way back in the block and that's what does most of the heating. If that heater element is bad, this whole block will get cold and as it runs longer and longer this this here fitting here will get colder and colder and finally when it gets too cold the flame will walk away from the gun and it's gone. Even if you reset it, it will not refire because the oil is too cold. You'll have to let it set for 10 to 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes for this one heater to heat up the whole block, which takes a while. This 400 watt heating element is just an element that screws in the block here. It's threaded into there. It's real easy to replace. Call us, we have the parts for that if you need anything. On an Energy Logic and Black Gold, they have heater elements inside this big oil preheater. If the thing runs for five to 30 minutes and shuts off and then waits and refires and shuts off and refires and shuts off and refires in five to 30 minute intervals, this preheater is probably not heating properly. Give us a call. We have the parts to take care of that. We can get you a replacement preheater. If you still need more help, please go to our website, centralohioheaters.com. Click on our technical help page. It's eight pages long, and you can print it out and take it right over to your heater. Also see our videos page for more helpful videos. I hope this video was helpful to you, and thanks for watching.